at, at, at Jesus' day in the church. Well, we want to find out why they were broken hearted. Why were they poor? Why were they broken hearted? To preach deliverance to the captives. So where were the captives in, in Jesus' day? In God's church. And who had them captive? Ellen G. White says Satan had them captive. She says he had chained them to his car. She says he had so possessed them, brothers and sisters, she says, that the people whom God had chosen to be his representatives had become the representatives of Satan. I'm going to ask you today, is there a need to rescue God's church? Let's continue. To preach deliverance to the captives and, I want you to read this together, and what? And recovering of sight to the blind. If it's recovering of sight to the blind, what does that tell you? They used to could see, but now they are blind. So to preach recovering of sight to the blind. All right? To set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year below. If you look at this little chart again, brothers and sisters, 27 AD to 34 AD, as I said and was here before, is a parallel. We're now operating just before 34 AD. Because in 34 AD, the Jews had to either accept the Messiah or reject him. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? All right, we're going to see where 34 AD lines up. Let's look at our, let's look at our screen right now. Our screen, and you have this in your hand. You have this in your hand. It has 27 AD on it. You have this in your hand, so you, you have a copy of it. The modern church is repeating the history of ancient Israel. Do you believe that, brothers and sisters? Do you know there are people who do not believe that, that call themselves Adventists? The modern church is repeating the history of ancient Israel. The trials of the children of Israel and their attitude just before the first coming of Christ illustrate the position of God's people when? When? Wait a minute. We, I don't think we got it. I don't think we got it. The trials of the children of Israel and their attitude just before the first coming of Christ illustrate the position of the people of God in their experience before the second coming of Christ. So whatever was going on in Israel around 27 AD up to 34 AD represents the same thing that's going to be going on in God's church just before the second coming. Do you understand it, saints? All right, let's look at something else. Satan's snares are laid for us as barely as they were laid for the children of Israel.